Thank you. Uh, it's nice of you guys to all show up tonight in such a this is terrible weather and short notice. And I don't know what that means. Um, uh, it's, just a, uh, it's, a, it's a lovely community you have here. Um, I like the store. You know, I like what you're all wearing. <laughs> just trying to get everybody on my side before we start. So, um, uh, I often, you know, I, as a cartoonist, it's, uh, it's funny to do a, 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 a reading because, you know, what you can really read, just read the cartoon one at a time, which I sometimes will do. But it is interesting that we, I, I just want to think about how interesting it is that, because I, I'm an avid reader and I, I will occasionally do the same thing, I'll go, to a store, I'll go to a bookstore to hear an author I like read a book. I don't know, it's just, I got nowhere to go with it. I got no punchline, I got nothing, I'm, no, I'm not going anywhere with this. I'm just, I'm just really just thinking about how odd it is to want to hear someone else read to you as an adult. I don't know, maybe it's not odd. So, um, does this even belong up here? Did that, get, that just got stuck up there. Bay Area bestsellers my ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's not likely. Um, could be. I should be more positive, right? I should, what is it? Put out an affirmation or put that out to the universe. What is it you guys say over here on this coast? You got a whole, it's like a whole attitude, the whole West Coast kind of universe energy thing. Because I live in New York where the energy is a little different. Um, Bizarre Buccaneers. Nothing but pirate cartoons. Oh, I would like to read to you my, um, this is my dedication. For my favorite wench, Ashley, for whom I would gladly walk the plank. Unless doing so would result in serious injury or death, in which case, what would really be the point of that? <laughs> and uh, that is my uh, wife, who is here somewhere in the store, ignoring what I'm doing, <laughs> which is frequently the case. Um, do any of you guys ever read my blog? Yes? And what is, uh, what is my... Uh, I'm sorry. You, you said yes, you don't want to say yes. <laughs> do, do you know the, uh, do, you, do you read it enough to know what my wife's uh, nickname is on the blog? What I call her on the blog? Crazy Half-Naked Wife. Crazy Half-Naked Wife. I call her CHNW. <laughs> That's right. Because she's, um, she's one of these uh, animal rights activists who will, who will uh, you know, like wear a, a lettuce bikini. <laughs> she literally wore a lettuce bikini in February on Wall Street for like two hours. It was 19 degrees out, and she prayed around giving out vegetarian uh, pamphlets and stuff. I think it's stupid, but that's all <laughs> she thinks is cool. So, uh, I, 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 so, so I took some pictures of that and uh, put it on my blog, and I, I just called it my crazy half-naked wife. And ever since then, every time, I, every time I refer to her, I just call her CHNW, and everybody on the blog knows that. You guys should really start reading the blog. You're missing a lot of cool stuff. It's free, for one thing. That's cool. It doesn't cost you anything. Well, of course, you have to buy like $2,000 worth of computer equipment to read it, but once you've got the equipment, it's free to read that blog every day. And actually, it's worth mentioning, it's fun to read the blog, because every day I post a cartoon, and I talk about some backstories behind it, some different little, you know, just uh, I, sometimes I just I just harp about things, you know, just harp and carp and kvetch, and then uh, other times I talk about, you know, just, I make stuff up, and it's funny. You'll enjoy it. And it costs you nothing. Um, I'm actually going to, this is the first time I've ever done this, I'm actually going to read the forward. I'm going to read. All right, here we go. <laughs> Say what? Forward thinking. Forward thinking. You're in California. I'm going to do, yes. I'm going to, I actually love, I actually, uh, as, like most New Yorkers, I love San Francisco. It's my other favorite city. You know, this is, San Francisco and New York, New York have these love affairs going back and forth. Everybody, the, the residences tend to, you know, the residents of each city tend to go live in one for four years and they get tired of that, go back and live in the other one for five years and get tired of that and move back and forth and they do this a lot. And so I'm one of those people that love San Francisco. Even though I'm not in San Francisco, I'm in Berkeley. I love Berkeley even more. <laughs> I only come to San Francisco to get to Berkeley. <laughs> Because you don't have your own airport. This is the best part of San Francisco. This is the best part of San Francisco. <laughs> Berkeley. Mm -hmm. It's not really a part of San Francisco. Let's not split hairs, though, right? We're among friends. <laughs> right. All right, let's just affirmatively send that positive energy out to the universe. We don't read blogs, we just cut up. <laughs> You're not going to get to read them. <laughs> All right. Um, 
Do you have security here? <laughs> um, I mean, they're okay so far, but the front row is getting a little out of control. All right. Here's the front row. It keeps going. This is, this is you know, my, my biggest complaint about bookstores is that they don't serve alcohol the way comedy clubs do, and so the people aren't as, but this guy's ready. This guy clearly has had plenty to drink. <laughs> the whole front row, this, these guys came from a comedy club. There's, there's CHNW now. Wave to the crowd, darling. <laughs> All right. I'm going to read the forward now. I promised myself I would not begin this forward with something lame like a vast ye scurvy knaves. And I am a man of my word. Pirates, on the other hand, were not. In reality, these, in reality, these outlaws were brutal, filthy, lying, flea-infested, lice-ridden, murdering, thieving, slave-trading scum of the earth. Yet now they are among our favorite sexy heroes. It makes me wonder if amusement parks and films in the next couple of centuries will glorify Earth's current ruthless dictators, serial killers, and corporate criminals. Will there one day be a series of Hollywood blockbusters with Jeffrey Dahmer or Ken Lay as the romantic hero? <laughs> That's pretty good. I haven't read this in, in like a year since I wrote it. But for now, enjoy this book of scoundrels, malefactors, and miscreants of the past from the safety of the 21st century. The cartoons herein are, in are arranged in chronological order, so those in the first few pages are from the earliest days of Bizarro, the latter half of the 1980s. And just as a side note, they make me nauseous. My early work is so unappealing to me, as, as is often the case to people of different sorts. As such, the sight of them causes me... Oh, I, I actually do go into that. I told you I haven't read this in like a year. As such, the sight of them causes me great personal pain. That was the nausea I was referring to earlier. My cartooning skills at the time, both literary and artistic, were brutish, and it hurts me to look at them. Additionally, the older ones were drawn before... Someone's sneaking up on, on me from behind. Additionally, the older ones were drawn before cartoons were commonly posted on the internet, so they are not colored. I colored them for this book, however, which means they have an old-style look to the line, but a very recent approach to the color. You may not notice the difference, but to me, it's like time travel. One last note before you begin. Most cartoonists won't admit this, but one reason we love... Did you find... Hey, Mike, did you find... Uh, Michael, did you find paper? You did? Okay. Um, it's my, uh, my bodyguard, uh, Michael Capazzola. Um, one last note before we begin. Uh, most cartoonists won't admit this, but one reason we love to draw pirate cartoons is that it is the only way we can get away with a joke about a disability in the newspaper comic section. I even refer to this principle in the cartoon on page 61 in your hymnals. <laughs> If you draw a couple of shoppers at Walmart with missing eyes, hook hands, and peg legs, people feel sorry for them, and it ruins the joke. In fact, editors will foresee a day lost to answering angry emails and phone calls and may not even run the guy. For the pirate, however, any missing body parts are, are fair game and funny as hell. And that's it. So now I'll just uh, read an excerpt from one of the cartoons. You were right. Without the picture, it doesn't really make any sense. But, uh, um, so, um, so that's uh, that's how that goes. 